Search warrants revealed new details in the murder of a local teacher. Rachel Del Tondo was shot and killed in her mother's driveway in Aliquippa Sunday night. Police have said it's likely she knew her killer, and we're learning more about where the investigation is focused now. Investigator Andy Sheehan is live in Aliquippa with new details. Andy. Ken, Rachel Del Tondo's murder remains a tragedy and a mystery. No suspects have been named, but people keep coming forward to say they had nothing to do with it. Yesterday, her former fiancé, today a young man with whom she was romantically involved. The day after Rachel Del Tondo was gunned down on her mother's driveway, suspicion fell on 20-year-old Sheldon Jeter, a young man who his attorney says was romantically involved with Del Tondo, but had no involvement in her death. My client had nothing to do with this shooting. Quite the, quite the opposite. My client was friendly with this person uh, and has had a relation with her for a few years on and off. Jeter is the same young man who, as a juvenile, was discovered by police in a parked car with Del Tondo, and on Monday they questioned him and executed a search warrant confiscating his iPhone. The incident led to Del Tondo losing her teaching job at PA Cyber, but Santa Cola said the two remained friends. There was never a problem between the two of them. I've reviewed a copy of the warrant, which states that on Sunday night, Del Tondo was with Jeter's older brother Tyree and another young woman and had traded texts with Sheldon Jeter. The three went to Hank's ice cream, but Sheldon did not, texting Tyree, quote, Is y'all there already? Yeah. I got left, huh? Followed by six smiling emojis. While Del Tondo and the two others were having ice cream here at Hank's, Jeter tells police that he was driving around with some friends, then went to his home and to his mother's house. The warrant also says he wouldn't tell police who he was with. The three returned to Aliquippa, dropping Del Tondo off at her mother's house where she met her fate. Santa Cola says his client has solid alibis. We have all of those people's names. We have no all of them. They all will corroborate all of the stories. He was with multiple people that night and during the day that will verify that he was nowhere near this shooting at the time. Now, attorney Santa Cola makes the claim that Del Tondo did fear for her life, but he says because she was about to testify as a witness before a grand jury investigating corruption in Aliquippa. Now, this is a claim that is somewhat disputed by the district attorney, but coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll have more on this claim and more on this investigation. For now, reporting live in Aliquippa, Andy Sheehan, KDKA TV News.